There's a very simple technique that's used to create 3D objects for video. I've used it before and I love how quick and easy it is. The way it works is you attach an object to some sort of stick or string, something that allows you to rotate the object around 360 degrees. Then you film that in front of a green screen and then rotate the object. Afterwards in post, you key out the green, mask out what was holding the item, and then just like that, you have a 3D object for your scene. You can use this technique for different things like floating objects, to fake super slow motion, or how I used it in today's video to create a 3D hologram effect. I'll start out with showing you how I shot my footage, but before we jump into that really quick, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community for creative people and those who are curious about learning. With a premium membership, you have access to thousands of classes on topics such as design, photography, and video. A lot of the time, I'm on Skillshare learning from talented filmmakers and editors to help me grow in those areas. But I found myself using Skillshare more and more lately to learn from people in all types of fields. There's a great class by Marquez Brownlee, who you might know as MKBHD, where he walks you through how he creates his tech review videos on YouTube. It's a fantastic class where you get an in-depth, behind-the-scenes look at the process of one of the most professional and consistent creators on YouTube. Right now, if you click the link in the description below, the first 1,000 people will get a free trial of a Skillshare Premium Membership. And then after that, it's less than $10 a month for you to continue using Skillshare to further your learning. So if you're interested in joining Skillshare, make sure to check out that link below and enjoy your free trial. So I shot two separate clips for this effect. The first one, I had the camera on a slider and filmed this alarm clock that I had. This will be used as my main footage and I'll have the hologram look like it's being projected from the clock. I also panned the camera while moving the slider to get the parallax look. I shot it like this because I want it to feel like the camera is rotating around the hologram and to give it even more of a 3D feel. Then for the second shot, the camera was locked off on a tripod and I filmed a toy TIE fighter in front of a green screen. I hot glued the TIE fighter to a light stand and then slowly rotated it. Then I brought both of those clips into After Effects and created this. So inside of After Effects, I have the slider shot added to a new composition. First thing I did was come up to Layer and created a new null object. Then I right clicked the footage layer, went to Track and Stabilize, and selected Track Motion. For my shot, I only needed to track the position. I tracked the edge of the shadow that was being created by the alarm clock. So I set the track point to the edge of that shadow and then came over and selected Analyze Forward. After that was done tracking, I selected Edit Target and made sure the null object was selected. Then hit Apply, made sure Apply Dimensions was set to X and Y, and then hit OK. Now the tracking data from the slider shot was applied to that null object. Next, I brought the shot of the TIE Fighter into the comp and stacked it on top of the slider shot. Then I added the key light effect to this and keyed out the green. After that, I needed to get rid of the light stand that the TIE Fighter was on. So to do this, I made sure that layer was selected, hit G on the keyboard to bring up the pen tool, and created a mask that got rid of the stand. Then hit M on the keyboard to bring up the mask path, hit the stopwatch, and went through adjusting the mask to get rid of the stand for the entire clip. After I was finished with the masking, I parented that layer to the null object by clicking and dragging the pick whip. Then scaled and repositioned the TIE Fighter where I wanted it above the alarm clock. Now the TIE Fighter looks like it's floating in my scene. Next, I created the hologram look. First thing I did was adjust the color by adding the curves effect to the TIE Fighter layer. I brought down the midtones on the red channel and increased the midtones on the blue. Then I added the noise effect and set the amount to 20%. After that, I added the Venetian blinds effect. I changed the transition completion to 39%, direction to 90 degrees, width to 14, and the feather to 6.5. Then I came up and went to layer, created a new solid, and named this scan line. Then made sure the solid was selected, came up and selected the rectangle mask tool, and created a mask on the solid. Then hit F on the keyboard to bring up the mask feather and increased it to 100. After that, I hit P on the keyboard to bring up the position of the solid. I right clicked the position and selected separate dimensions. Then held down Alt or Option on a Mac and selected the stopwatch for the Y position. Then I typed in the expression wiggle, open parentheses, 0.5, comma, 2000, close parentheses. Now if I play that back, you can see this added some random up and down movement to the solid layer. Next, I selected the solid layer and hit Control D to duplicate it. Now there are two scan lines moving up and down at random. 
Now I selected both of those solid layers, right clicked, selected pre-compose and named this scan lines. Then I selected the TIE Fighter layer and duplicated that. On the top layer, I changed the track mat to alpha mat. If you don't see the track mat tab, you can come down here and bring it up by selecting toggle switches and modes. Now you can see the hologram has a look as if it's being scanned up and down. Next, I came up to layer and created a new adjustment layer and named this glitch adjustment layer. Then I added the turbulent displace effect to this layer. In that effect, I changed the displacement to horizontal displacement, set the amount to 100, the size to 11, and complexity to 10. Then I hit the stopwatch for the evolution with the amount set to zero and went to the end of the clip and set the amount to one. After that, I created another solid and named this glitch line. Then I brought up the Y position just like the scan line solid and created an expression on this as well. The expression was wiggle, open parentheses, five, comma, 5,000, close parentheses. Then I duplicated this solid, selected both of them and pre-composed them together, naming it glitch lines. Then I changed the track mat on the adjustment layer to alpha. Now there's some glitch type scan lines on the hologram. The adjustment layer was affecting the slider shot underneath though, and I only want it on the hologram. So to fix this, I selected all the layers except the slider layer and the null object and pre-composed them together, calling it hologram lines. Now the glitch lines are only on the TIE Fighter. I also needed to parent this comp back to the null object. Next, I added some light beams and glow effects. So I created a new solid, named it light beam base, and used the eyedropper for the color and selected the TIE Fighter so that it was a similar blue. You can make yours white or whatever color you want. Then I shut off this solid for now so I can see what I'm doing, came up and selected the ellipse tool and created a mask around the inside of the alarm clock. I tweaked this a bit so that it fits in perfectly. Then I turned the solid back on and changed the blend mode to add. I also increased the feather on this mask to 50 and made sure to parent the solid to the null. Then I brought up the mask path hit the stopwatch and went through adjusting this mask to line up perfectly with the clock in case it drifted at all. After that, I added the glow effect to this solid layer. I changed the glow threshold to 47%, glow radius to 100, and glow intensity to 0.6. Then I duplicated that solid, hit T on the keyboard for the duplicated layer, and dropped the opacity to 30%. This was just to make the base a little bit brighter. Then I duplicated that solid again, renamed it light beam, and then deleted the mask off of it. I created a new mask in the shape of a light beam coming up from the top of the alarm clock and set the feather on this mask to 170. I also set this solid's opacity to 55%. Next, I created another mask on this light beam solid. It was a rectangle mask and I created it in the middle of the beam mask that I just created. I changed this mask to intersect and changed the feather to 400. I did this to get a nice, even feather on the light beam without it spilling everywhere. Then I duplicated the solid one more time and renamed the bottom one Glow. Deleted the mask and created a new one that was around the entire alarm clock. I then increased the feather on this mask way, way up to about 600. I also dropped the opacity on this to 30% and this created an overall glow coming off of the hologram. After that, I selected the hologram lines layer and created a mask around the TIE Fighter that was angled to line up with the light beam and to where it cut off a little bit of the bottom. Then I increased the feather to about 170. I did this so that it looks like the TIE Fighter is blending into the light beam a little bit, like if that's the point where the hologram starts. Next, I changed the blend mode on the hologram lines layer to add. Then I added the glow effect to this layer and changed the glow threshold to 23% glow radius to 100, and the glow intensity to 0.8. I also brought up the opacity, held down alt, and clicked the stopwatch, and typed in the expression wiggle, open parentheses, five, comma, 20, close parentheses. And this was to add a flicker to the hologram. And then for the last thing, I added a linear wipe animation for when the hologram activates and turns on. So to do this, I selected all of the light beam solid layers and the hologram lines layer. I did not select the glow layer because I'm going to animate this to turn on separately. So I right clicked and pre-composed all those together, naming it final hologram. I made sure to change the blend mode on this comp to add and parented it to the null object. Then I added the linear wipe transition to the final hologram layer and changed the wipe angle to negative 180 degrees. 
Then at the beginning of the clip, I created a keyframe for the transition completion at 100%, then went forward about one second and set it to 0%. I also set the feather on this to 100. Then I selected the glow solid layer and brought up the opacity and keyframed it to fade in as the hologram turns on. I selected both of those keyframes and hit F9 on the keyboard to turn them into easy ease keyframes so that they turned on smoother. And really quick guys, I actually ended up adjusting the mask for the beam solid to go all the way up to the top of the TIE Fighter instead of ending at the bottom. I thought this looked better and blended the light beam in more with the overall effect. And then after all that, I was finished with the effect and had my final result. But alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.